First, we begin tonight with an iconic restaurant on Shaker Square at risk of closing tonight, setting up a GoFundMe to try and stay afloat. As we're learning tonight at the same time, Shaker Square itself could soon be sold. Long before the Balaton Hungarian restaurant took up a corner on Shaker Square in the 90s, it was already an institution. A staple on Buckeye Road on Cleveland's east side, where it was first Teresa's Kitchen. Teresa started, but in 64, it became Balaton Restaurant, and they took it from there. George Ponti is the third generation to run the family business and the one to encounter, perhaps, it's darkest days due to COVID. When future comes, we can't pay both loans back and our present expenses. And personally, I was sticking my head in the sand for months and months and months and, 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 and trying to figure out how to climb out of this. Adding, two things helped. His landlord being patient on rent and the knowledge his customers, who put him on the country's food map, would return. This week, they set up a GoFundMe to recover some of their needs, while the company who owns Shaker Square has been facing foreclosure after defaulting on a loan. They are being pursued by their lenders. Peter Rubin is CEO of the Coral Company, which manages the square, and says it is in the process of being sold soon. Details are still confidential. And it's just a terrible, un unfortunate timing that it got caught in a maturity of an old loan that's five years old in the midst of COVID-19. It's a group that we're negotiating with. I've been working on the contract today, uh, back and forth. Um, is a group of community-minded public and private investors. For an iconic town square, a place with a legendary past whose future is still being written. And if you would like to help Bulletin, we have published a link to their GoFundMe page. Just go to the story at WKYC.com.